Hey there, Rajesh Menon, once again. So today let's talk about full stack development. Let's try to understand who's a full stack developer. Now you see computers, there are many, many different stages of computing. There's front end, there is middleware, there is back end. So this is a three tier architecture, front end, middleware and back end. If it's just a front end and a back end, it's a two tier architecture. If a database server is also involved in the back end, it's a four tier architecture. Four tier, T I E I, four tier architecture. So let's try to understand a simple application like let's say you're running your web browser, say Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or whatever it may be. Now that's the front end. Now that front end talks to the back end, which is a web server. Typically, you like your Apache web server, IIS, Microsoft IIS web server, and so on. Right, so that's a two tier architecture, a front end, which is a browser and a web server, which serves the pages to the browser. So two tier architecture, three tier architecture, there's a middle component called as a middleware. Example of middleware is web logic, web sphere, and so on. All the business logic normally is put into the middleware layer. So these are business products and front end example is HTML, cascading strategy, CSS, HTML is hypertext, mar hypertext markup language, cascading style sheets and JavaScript and JavaScript libraries like Angular, React, jQuery, Bootstrap and so on. Now, for example, Angular is a product of Google and React is a product of Facebook. So these are JavaScript libraries make it easier for us to work with JavaScript. If you write pure JavaScript code, it's very cumbersome. It's very, it's very, it's not at all user friendly. Hence you use libraries, like I told you, Angular, React and all. So that's the front end. Now let's look at the back end. The back end is programming languages like Java, C++, Ruby on Rails, Python. So these are all back end server development, server, server development tools. Now note that the front end is just for rendering the browser, rendering the images for those, the special effects that you get, everything is through front end using JavaScript, CSS and all. Whereas back end is the thing that has the main logic. Say you have a website and you're calling a Java program. Java program won't run in your front end. It will run on the back end and it will give you the results and the results will be pumped back to the front end. So that's how. So this entire thing, this front end, back end, middleware, DB server, all this together is called as a full stack. So when a developer knows all these, say he knows JavaScript and some libraries, he knows HTML5, CSS3, he knows, let's say Python and Java, and maybe he knows a middleware application like WebSphere also. So his knowledge is complete. He can program as a front-end guy, he can program as a back-end guy, or he can be a middle guy. So this, in essence, is full-stack development. I suggest if you're getting started, get started with the front-end, because HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript are much easier to learn than learning a full-flooded, full-breeded language like Java or Python or so, and then move on to the back-end. Learn, learn a language like Python, Python is very popular because of many reasons. It's very user friendly. It's very, it has a lot of libraries. There's a lot of functions. So a lot of advantages of using Python. Java is also a good language, object oriented language with lots of community. C++ mainly for things like embedded lang embedded uh, processors. And you can also have Ruby on Rails again for things like heavy websites. So this is a full stack development scenario. And those who have a knowledge of say two front end tools, two back end tools, and the database knowledge necessary for all back end operations. So this guy is a full stack developer. Fine. So I hope you got the idea of what full stack development is. And try to be a full stack developer. They are needed in the market a lot. So thank you very much and may God bless you.
Thank you.